All right, so this is just a quick epilogue. Um, not really too much is going to be going on here in terms of like the screen. So this is one of those videos to where if you want to um, just kind of put it on the background and, and listen while we just kind of walk from like the cottage over to um, White Run, I guess, to give a little bit of time. So we've completed There Is No Umbra Chapter 3. And again, I'd like to apologize for the last video. Um, the I know it was very was choppy nice just so because crisp, for whatever reason, well that last section was just subjected to a lot of crashing. Um, I'm not exactly sure what it was because it was very random when it would crash from like either 30 seconds to 5 minutes and so on and so forth. But we managed to get through it and I managed to get enough parts to um, go ahead and and finish out the quest line. Which I believe we, in the, in my opinion we probably picked you out the best of um tour guide, of all options. You? God, you, you love talking, don't you, Umbra? So um, or the Umbra, however you want to call it. I think we picked out the best option which is like basically fusing Umbra and the Umbra into one entity so basically like giving all those memories back to one singular person and it kind of balanced her out a little bit at least in my opinion um for what i can tell so that was kind of the ending that we picked what moving forward um i think we're still going to continue obviously going through um the quest the modded quest line for skyrim because there's there's a ton that i haven't even touched this is like the grand paladin there's a couple for the brotherhood um, so on and so forth. There's a lot that I would like to explore and um, and make new videos on. Um, obviously, there are probably going to be new characters that are themed for because we don't have really a central Where character. Um, at least for these videos, I may friend. I may create one central character to go through these once I kind of figure out a game plan, or I may just like kind of edit like maybe two or three characters um, that kind of fit the theme of each one of the um, each one of the quest mods I'm going to be going through and stuff like that. Um, now, if something I didn't want to kind of discuss, and maybe I can get a little bit of insight from you guys, uh, in terms of the mod list that I'm that I will be using for these future videos. Currently, as you see right now, and if you watch from the very beginning um, of some of these mods, I did go from Elysium over to Novus. Um, I haven't used Elysium in quite some time. I know they have a remastered version, but currently I've been using Novus, and I believe it's like an older version of Novus than the one that's currently live right now. Um, Moving forward, I'm not sure if I want to stick with Novus and re and just uh, install the latest version, which will essentially wipe this particular character. I believe. Um, I believe this character will be wiped if I if I do um, uh, make the uh, get a new the new mod list. Cause I want to do is like I want to uninstall it from one hard drive to another. Um, I can still probably keep the save, and I may be able to use Protheus to import this character but i think I'm, i i want to lose this character because this has been a very buggy run and i don't want this imported character to cause issues with a new playthrough so i may just hold off on this character probably like let her ride off into the sunset and then create a new character using novus um if i don't do jolvis the other mod list i was thinking about using is vagabond which vagabond is um another high counted um mod list through wabajack which i've shown case the video before um, it's actually one of my personal favorites so far that that's came out recently. It is, <laughs> it is a resource hog. I think it's like total 800 or something gigabytes. I know you can delete the download folder after it's installed, which decreases the size, but it is a hefty boy. So I'm also sure thinking about using, um, Vagabond the as my go-to mod list in the future. The, um, caveat of using one or the other is that, um, Novus is more of a power fantasy, meaning like obviously you have like more flashy combat uh, with the style switches, things like that, the effects um, and, and all that jazz. While Vagabond does have like obviously doesn't have vanilla animation if you watched my last video, but it's not as flashy as Novus. Like Novus really does dig into that power fantasy. Um, and Vagabond seems to be a little bit more grounded in terms of combat. Um, you don't have multiple stance switches and things like that. However, um, each weapon type does have its own move set, such as like uh, single-handed blades, axes, dual axes, thing of that nature. So, and I'm a big fan of modded combat myself. Like, I keep harping on this in all my videos. I hate vanilla combat. <laughs> I hate Skyrim vanilla combat with a passion. So, um, that's why I kind of like stick to some of these like sort of power fantasy mod list. Um, what I may do is I may start. I may download Novus. Um, I may actually have enough room to download both. If I can like clean out some hard drive space, um, and download both and kind of test them out, um, and kind of see which one I like the best, I'm thinking I stick with Novus just because I like Novus a little bit more than Vagabond right now, and Novus has been out a little bit longer. Um, so I may just update to the latest version of Novus and then like start a character, 
um, and just kind of test it out. Now, what type of character will I be creating? A lot of people want me to bring back the Uchiha character, like at least bring back an Uchiha character. And while I'm not against it, obviously due to like the sheer amount of mods and combat mods and things like that, my Yuzo only caveat is that that character in its prime is kind of overpowered. <laughs> and what I mean by that is a lot of the Jutsus um, can be overpowered, right? Um, obviously, the Sharingan being one of them, the Renegon, um, not necessarily like like Chidori or the Fireball Jutsu and stuff like that, but a lot of like the other abilities of the Uchiha are pretty powerful. Um, and some of them can actually break some of the questing that I do for some of these mods, especially with the Sharingan to be able to slow down time and stuff like that. Um, on the flip side, I could make a ninja-esque type character with the uh, Uchiha clan and the Naruto overhaul mod, which gives me access to pretty much all the Jutsus available at this time. Um, I know someone in the Discord actually um, posted a Shadow Clone Jutsu, which I'm actually going to take a look into as well. If I do decide to go like the Shinobi Ninja route, um, I may do that I and use that mod. The, looks like. the Umbra, I love you, but man, I need you to quiet, quiet down a little bit. Um, I also may go with the Samurai um, character, meaning uh, less magic more so than just like, you know, Katana, Quint Katana, or Quint, eh, Katanas, Twin Katanas, and like uh, pole arms such as Spears. Um, I may also um, use like a bow and arrow and stuff like that. So I'm thinking maybe make it a Samurai build because I haven't done that as well. Um, I don't know. I, I, I think the next character is probably going to be a male character because I've, I've done kind of switch between like male, female, male, female. So I'm probably thinking if I do a male character, it'll probably be a samurai. And if I do a female character, it might be the Uchiha. That part I haven't decided yet. It also kind of depends on what mods I kind of do into the future because I don't want to make a paladin character that's doing a Dark Brotherhood quest. doesn't make a lot of sense. But um, I do have an idea of what quest mod I do want to do. It's I think it's going to be a little bit more smaller than the ones I've tackled so far just to kind of like try something a little bit different. Um, I won't spoil it for now, but I'll definitely... Um, Obviously, you guys will see it when it posts. In terms of upload scheduling for these quest mods, right now I've been doing uh, twice a week. Uh, I try to aim for Wednesdays and Fridays, and I'm going to try and keep that schedule so that you guys get two episodes every week. Um, for those who are going to become channel members, I'll probably what I'll try to do is now YouTube allows you to actually like post up videos as channel members only. I'll probably try to have those videos uploaded um, on Monday. So that way you guys get like a little bit of a, like a 24 or 48 hour like, you know, release window if you want to support through the chat, through the stream. And oh, no, I'm sorry, if you want to support the channel um, be, by being channel members, I think it's like as little as 99 cents. I think I have it set. So for like a dollar, you'll get a little bit of early access for the videos that I start to upload. Um, and on Patreon, if you want to go with Patreon, I'll try to upload, uh, upload early on Patreon as well. Um, I'm actually reworking Patreon. I'm actually shut down Patreon to just do channel member stuff, to be honest with you. Just to kind of keep everything centralized So I'm, since they have the ability to allow me to do that. But we'll see. Um, also, think I could do, like, channel member post only. But that, that's beyond the point of this video. Um, but I will be uploading uh, twice a week in terms of, like, the, the playthrough footage, which will be on Wednesdays and Fridays. Um, and we're just going to kind of continue this for a while. Um, now, will this only be for Skyrim? I can't tell. Um, I also want to start maybe uh, dabbing into Fallout 4 in some of the quest lines and quest mods and stuff like that. Um, so I may actually do that as well. Um, after a certain point, I may introduce Fallout 4. Um, do like the same type of things like uploading quests. Uh, I'm sorry, downloading quest mods and, and, and playing through those. I'm not as well versed in Fallout as I am in Skyrim in terms of like gameplay and things like that. So it's definitely going to be a little bit different. But I think it also being a little bit variety to the channel um, as well. So... I'll make a, another video kind of explaining my plans for 2024 um, as I do want to change up a couple of things, not just um, obviously what I'm talking about in this video, but kind of give you a glimpse of what I'm talking about in total. So, but yeah, that's going to be just like what the plan is for like the Skyrim quest mod series. Um, I'm going to continue uploading more uh, modded quest lines and things like that. Um, I know that there has been an update for the new anniversary edition. I know there's a couple of stuff on there as well. I don't know if I'm going to purchase any of that content because I think for everything on the store right now, I think it's like 40 bucks in total. Well, obviously it's split between different um, mods and stuff like that. But I, I, I've, I'm very iffy when it comes to like creation, purchasing mods and paint mods and stuff like that. I'll probably make a separate video on that as well, explaining my full thoughts because I really want to like gather my thoughts on that. And I just don't want to like speak of ignorance. 
So I'm going to try and like gather my thoughts on that as well and make a video for that, kind of explaining my position on it. Because technically, I don't have a leg to stand on in this, or I don't have a horse to participate in this race, however the fucking saying goes. <laughs> so, but um, as a content creator that does upload Bethesda stuff, I, I do want to speak on it a little bit at the very least, but I don't want to come across as ignorance or, or you know, one side. I want to be, be as objective as possible when it comes to it. So, in any case, uh, thank you guys for listening to this. If you was just listening, uh, like I said, this just video will be walking from, like, Riverwood to White Run, kind of explaining what I plan on doing. So, too long didn't read or too long didn't listen, and you skip towards the end. What I'm going to be doing is uh, every Tuesday, and, uh, I'm sorry, every uh, Wednesday and Friday, there'll be episodes of my Skyrim playthrough quest mod series. I'm going to be starting over with uh, probably either Novus or, uh, or Vagabond. I'm leaning more towards Novus just because I like the way Novus is set up. Um, and I think some of the... Some of the um, some of the updates are adding things that I wanted, such as actually more variety styles and like the stand switching, which was something that was very limited. So I'm going to be uh, looking into that. If not, um, if not, uh, Novus, I'll be using Vagabond, which you can watch my video on Vagabond, which should probably show up towards the end of this video if you want to check that out and kind of see what it offers. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Take care. Yes, yeah.